we can look at the sky and make a weather forecast. Is it possible for a seed under the ground to make weather forecasts and to forecast correctly all the time? Yes, we will mention a plant now. Lupine plants growing in Arctic tundra. The seeds of this plant need warm air to germinate and grow. The seeds under the ground do not germinate if there are no favorable conditions for their growth. They go to sleep and wait for the weather to clear up and the temperature to increase. Even if the other conditions form in the environment, the seeds will never crack if the temperature is not suitable. Lupine seeds continue to grow from where they have left when the appropriate conditions are met, no matter how much time has passed. In fact, lupine seeds that have remained intact for hundreds of years without germinating have been found by researchers. It is an amazing great miracle that this seed acts as if it is aware of the external environment when it is under the ground. We ask those who attribute miracles of creation to causes, coincidence, chance, and evolution. How does this seed, which is deprived of attributes like science, will, and power, know the conditions that are necessary for its growth? How does the information in the external environment reach the seeds under the ground? And how did the communication system between them emerge? That the seed stops its growth as soon as it gets this information is an indication of will and preference only. Or do these small seeds have will? How does this seed, which waits for years under the ground if necessary, always control the external environment? Did the seed itself find this system and information? In other words, did the seed know about the environment in which it would live before it existed? And did it create itself in this way? Or did lifeless, ignorant, willless and powerless causes create the seed like that? What cause and coincidence write this system, which has existed in the genetic codes of the plant since its creation in the body of the plant? More questions can be asked. As you can see, not accepting Allah brings with it many questions that cannot be answered. A person who does not accept Allah, who is one, has to ascribe the attributes of Allah to mindless, lifeless causes and makes himself ridiculous in the eyes of sane people. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, it is Allah who causeth the seed grain and the date stone to split and sprout. He causeth the living to issue from the dead, and He is the one to cause the dead to issue from the living, that is, Allah. Then how are ye deluded away from the truth?